I got my buck for the season. I saw him from quite a ways away walking up the road. He came over and looked like he was going to jump into the feeder fence. And then he smelled one of my tank scent bombs. And started heading that direction. I grunted a little bit to get him to stop. Uh. And he kind of stopped right behind this tree, but I was still able to get that heart long area. And I nailed him right where I needed to. He ran a little bit and collapsed about, I don't know, 50 feet from where I shot him. But my buck is down, day one in the morning. Well, I wasn't even in the stand an hour, and I got a doe on the ground. I had three big bucks come in, and of course they're all two and a half, three and a half year olds, so we can't shoot them. We're trying to manage the herd here using some QDMA rules. It's a quality deer management association. We're trying to grow some bigger bucks, some more mature bucks, and only take mature bucks, so we let those have a pass. But I did get a doe. I'm hoping to get one more. I'm hoping some hogs come in so I can get some hogs. And I know there's two gobbler turkeys that are coming to this stand on a regular basis. So we still have a lot of hunting left to do this morning. Well, that's one fewer wild hog to harass the deer and take all their food. All right, here I am with my buck for 2019. You can see he's a six point, but he is an old buck. I would guess he's five and a half at least. Uh, I saw him last year and almost shot him then. And he was an old buck last year. Never shot a six point before, so that's a first for me. The mass on him is crazy. I mean, he is just awesome. Uh, yeah, he, he's an awesome old buck. I'm glad I took a mature buck. Uh, just, just happy to have my buck and uh, had him. Good shot on him, went right down.
He's going to go down. He's down. He's down. He's struggling. I hit him good. He's dead, but he just don't know it yet. I'm not going to shoot him again because he's fallen down three times and got back up. I'm going to get back on him just in case. Yeah, he's down. I'm just going to let him expire right there. He just hasn't died yet. There he goes. Come on, buddy. The loud stand produced again. Mike shot the triple beam here earlier. I just, uh, it's either an eight, big eight or a nine. He's down right where I shot him. He took a couple steps, flopped around there a little bit, but he's finally expired. Okay, I'm just leaving the damn stand. That's the stand itself, and now I'm this is over towards the feeder where this deer was. I'm gonna walk up and harvest there, pick it up. He's over to the left. Here's the feeder. And he was walking over this way. I shot him in this area. You can actually see his belly over there. The other side of that scrub. There he lays, right there he lays. Right there, it's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one, please, with this. That would be DRT. Right there. Nice shot. Thank you.
This spike just absolutely refuses to leave. It doesn't matter what I do. Make noise, open the door. There we go. I don't know, he's just chasing that dough around. The only one left after I shot my dough. All right, sweetheart, what do you say we get you cleaned up? Huh? Yeah, you're good dough. Nice. It's the big chocolate tin. Well, here he is. Two, three, four, five. Missing a brow time here. Six, seven, eight, nine point. Can't believe it. Walked out here before the feeder even went off. I was so excited to see him. Got a beautiful chocolate hill country rack. I'm actually covered up in deer. I'm kind of worried one's going to walk up behind me. It's awesome, awesome opening morning. Buddy, remember that big hog I talked about when I was setting up trail cameras? Well, he came back to the same spot tonight and had his last meal. <laughs> he was huge. Oh my gosh, he came in from my left, kind of spooked me, stayed in behind the bushes the whole way, went straight up to the feeder, and I took him out at the feeder. Whew. That's a good feeling. Get him back for scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a look at him and uh, drag him into the woods so he doesn't spook the other deer. Oh, that is one big hog.
give it hell, buddy. So here's where he was standing. And then there's the shoot house. Came down. Got first blood. Track of blood, blood, blood. Looks like he went right through here. There's more blood through there. Blood. You can tell where he ran through here. More blood. Bunch of blood. Bunch of blood. And there he lays. I waited until everything cleared the feeder. I'm walking over to collect this peak point. I've watched him for two nights and just really, really, two days actually, really, really like this buck. He has a unique Rack. You'll see a little closer here in a moment. Alright, we're going to pick up the bud trail. There's my blind. Deer was standing right in here. We're going to pick up the blood trail here. Following. Not a... I was, Expecting a little more with the rage. You can see where he took up the, definitely took up the, the turf here. He was stumbling. I see him laying up here. A pretty nice one.
close right here. Like this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got her. <laughs> really solid sign. He's bleeding like crazy. All right, here I am with my first West Virginia buck. He was a scrapper. He's got one, two, three broken off tines. Basically an eight pointer, kind of kind of more like a seven with this broken off tine, but it was awesome. I mean, he just, he walked in right under my old tree stand, which I was always afraid was part of the issue with me not seeing bucks here is that I was on their travel corridor. And that's exactly where he walked, right along the bench, right underneath my old stand, right up to the feeder. And then he stood behind a tree for what seemed like forever eating corn under the feeder. I was in my stand behind me there and just getting myself ready. As soon as I saw him walking up, I knew I was gonna take him, I mean, He's amazing. A real West Virginia mountain buck, a real scrapper. I'm just, I'm so excited. This is my eighth year hunting in West Virginia and it's my first buck that I've taken. It's my first deer. I haven't even shot a doe. So now we've got some work to do. Let's get him to the house. 